Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Good morning, everyone. Uh, the Security Council just finished its meeting on JCPOA and Resolution 2231. In my address at the Council, I reiterated that JCPOA is a hard one multilateral diplomatic achievement that continues to be the best option with no alternatives. We have received renewed strong message of support for JCPOA restoration and full implementation. Nonetheless, it is obvious that the underlying causes of the current predicament are the illegal withdrawal of US from JCPOA and the reimposition of sanctions, as well as the E3's lack of political will to honor their obligations. While the former U.S. administration recklessly sacrificed the well-established tenet of international law and withdrew from the deal and imposed sanctions, the present administration is following in the former administration's footsteps as it continues to adopt the notorious maximum pressure policy and impose sanctions on Iran. Iran is committed to multilateral diplomacy and negotiations. As a responsible member of the NPT, Iran has fulfilled all of its obligations on their NPT and safeguard agreement. In the course of Vienna talks, we exercised maximum flexibility and showed good faith in order to reach an acceptable agreement. The JCPOA must be fully implemented effectively and in a way that can be verified. There is no other option, as we have always stressed. The time has come for the US to make the political decision to abandon the failed policy of maximum Pressure. During our intensive consultation with EU High Representative Mr. Borrell in Tehran last week, Iran once more emphasized its willingness to provide creative solutions to the remaining issues in the hope of ending the deadlock. We were sincere in the Doha talks, the Doha talks that were serious and positive. As in the past, we will be in touch with the EU coordinator for the next stage of the talks. Our negotiating team is ready to engage constructively again to conclude and reach a deal. The ball is in U.S. court. If the U.S. acts realistically and shows its serious intention to implement its obligations, the agreement is not out of reach. And finally, as we have stated time and again, our space and missile programs fall outside the purview or competence of the Security Council Resolution 2231 at the, and its annexes and, and are not subject for negotiations. I thank you. Ambassador, could you Sorry. tell us, um, several of the Europeans said that Iran made thank new you. demands. I'm could sorry. you just tell us what the new demands were? 